this energy conservation thingy is quite new to me. New, but the concepts are easy. For instance, energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but only change from one form to another. In other words, the conservation of energy states that the total amount of energy in an isolated system should remain constant over time. Hmm, so in other words, instead of disappearing, energy changes into a different form when we do something. That's correct. For instance, inside our bodies, we store chemical potential energy in the form of sugar. When we move, our muscles change the chemical potential energy of the sugars into kinetic energy. Thus, we can move. Uh -huh. When we climb up a mountain using this kinetic energy, we convert this kinetic energy into gravitational potential energy. And the list would go on and on. I see. No wonder I always feel drained of energy when climbing the four-storey staircase up to the classroom. That simply means you are unfit. <gasps> that aside, for the roller coaster that you rode on in Six Flags, how is the energy converted? Well, that's pretty simple. Gravitational potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. Good. However, when a roller coaster undergoes this change in energy, it is also very noisy and generates a lot of friction. So, what other energies do you think may convert from gravitational potential energy? Hmm. Come on, the clues are right there. Hmm. Sound energy and a heat energy. Since you said it is noisy and there is friction. Fantastic. The gravitational energy has been converted into other forms of energy besides kinetic energy, such as heat and sound energy. Which is why the roller coaster will slowly come to a stop on a flat track, even when there is no brakes on it. In other words, gravitational potential energy is converted into kinetic, heat and sound energy. 